How's it going, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I want to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Pixley Wolf, Gabriel Potter, Jason Green, Base564, Grayscale, Ty Bennett, Casey, Pro Tomahawker, Lucius, Austin Davis, Anthony, Noriden XD, Boop the Snoot, Michael Tierran, Nick, Kaya the Great, Christian Andre Cavande, Seven Gates, Aaron Bates, Diablo 2604, Slivarium, Octocat, Redemption, It Silver, Aubrey Byrne, Starkiller SCP 049, Thoughtful 03 Guy, JK 844, D, Ariel, and as always, I want to give a big shout out to our executive producers, Bevan Brummett and Tavon. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to become a Patreon supporter, click the link in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. All right, here we go. Count three, one, two, three. Whee! Oh, God! 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 I just got hit by lawnmowers that were falling. <laughs> Micah, I'm about to introduce you to something groundbreaking. <laughs> you know what that is? Modding Skyrim. Yep. <laughs> oh, wait. <clears throat> That's been a thing for the last 10 friggin' years. Yeah. I still like vanilla Skyrim. I try. I tried to load it up with some mods on the PC and... I didn't. I think I needed like a mod organizer or something because it just crashed it. Um, I would definitely recommend. Uh, uh, what's the one that everyone uses? Nexus. Nexus mod manager. Yeah, that's. I had. I had Nexus, but something went wrong. I don't know. Mm. I don't like technology, so. <laughs> Micah. Micah rebels against technology, so. Um, I. I will say this: Skyrim modded, gets really stupid really fast. Yeah, I only like lore-friendly mods. I don't like, you know, no, no, I Randy get Macho Man Savage Dragons. Well, the whole thing is uh, with um, with uh, mods that are lore-friendly, Nick wanted one that was all lore-friendly, and he wanted to make it more, like, horror-like style, you know? Yeah. Like, lower your view at night, and, uh, mon like, the zombie sounds, and, like, uh, mm -hmm. the sounds of, like, liches and all that. Just like, ooh. It's, like, horrific stuff. Then there was one mod that he had installed that basically, uh, instead of you would come across towns that had been attacked by, uh, you know, bandits or something like that, instead the towns would all be, like, all the townsfolk would be dead, and you would literally find their bodies hanging from, like, uh, posts, like, the wa uh, welcoming arches in town. That's messed up. And you would also find, like, notes from them saying, hey, you know... You know, these are the people who have have wronged us. If you find this, you know, seek out my seek out my wife in this place. Tell her of my demise and tell her uh, tell her I loved her. And it it was pretty pretty heart wrenching stuff. But there was a problem. The apparently the uh, hanging physics from the rope from the arches was a little wonky. And every time you'd come through, they'd be like swinging around the. It was pretty. It was pretty gnarly. Oh my god! But it was funny as hell, and I I couldn't help but laugh at that. But we have a video here that has been requested so long. This one is Skyrim, but if I say dragon, then ten dragons spawn. This is by Doug Doug, and this has been requested in our Discord for so friggin' long. And me and Nick sort of agreed. It's like there's two people. Who need, there's at least one per like there's two people who we know that loves the hell out of Skyrim, and would definitely love to see this. Chad loves modded Skyrim. You, uh, I wasn't sure of like your place on it. Now I'm more like in the know about it. But you and Chad were the two that we definitely wanted to uh, to like get in on this. And Chad also has his own channel now, which you can check that out. They call me Hat Guy. Which, uh, I went to war with YouTube over a community guideline strike that they had levied against them. And I basically just said, yeah, it makes no sense. Because you say this reaction violates community guidelines, but yet our reaction's still up. Mark's original video's still up. Everyone's original video's still up. I don't understand what, what you're talking about. And then eventually they were like, okay, fine, fine. We'll take the community guideline strike away. Yep. I'm like, yeah. 
just admit you're trash. <clears throat> just admit you don't know what you're doing anymore, and you're you're upholding uh, terms that literally have no merit or bearing. Do you think Elon would buy YouTube? I don't think Google is willing to let YouTube go. <laughs> I don't think they are willing to let it go at all. Hmm. Sadly, the the problem is there's just so well. Google is one of the companies that I can definitely say is could definitely tell Elon to to f off, and they have like the backing, like the financial backing to do it. I mean, you know, Elon did just buy Twitter, and we discussed him potentially buying Star Wars or like 20th Century Fox out from underneath uh, Disney. I mean. Dizzy would keep all the Marvel stuff, but they get 20th Century Fox, and then he gets the uh, Star Wars franchise back, and basically lets 20th Century Fox go back to making Star Wars movies again, which, cool. I'm down for that. But if he were to buy YouTube, I think things would be a lot different, I think. Because, you know, people say, well, you know, we have to maintain a safe platform for our, uh, for our uh, you know, uh, advertisers and all this and all that. Elon will literally just be like, He's like, look, how about I invent something? Basically, you all get to choose which channels you don't want your stuff on. Isn't that easy enough and work for everybody? Sounds kind of simple. Yeah. Instead, it's YouTube just trying to take the publisher route and basically get around, like, all the, like, all the laws of, you know, censoring people that they don't like. That's literally what they do. They act as a publisher and not a utility. That's, that's, mm. hmm. Hmm. Again, it's nonsensical, but what are you going to do? So, you got the video queued up here. Let's give it a watch. See what happens. Hey, this is Doug Doug, where we solve problems that no one has. <laughs> Today, I created a custom Skyrim mod, and I combined it with a voice command program, so that if I say a specific word out loud, like dragon, the mod will immediately spawn 10 oh. dragons in the game. But that alone is not hard enough. So I did this with nine different words, including dragon, bear, giant, troll, crab, nazim, wolf, bandit, or cheese. Nazim. All of which will spawn 10 of those things into Skyrim if I say that word. All right, so theoretically, if I say bear. Spawning bears. Oh, <laughs> holy crap. It will spawn a lot of bears. So I have it as 10. Spawning um, bears. Oops, well there, it went again. So then if I say, Cheese. Spawning cheese. Spawn, so it spawns cheese. And then if I say bandit. Spawning bandits. Get some bandits in here. And then <laughs> if I say giant. Spawning giants. And last Holy but not least. Shit. Dragon. Spawning dragons. Oh, he's going to break the game. So the dragons, the dragons, <laughs> the dragons slow it down a little bit. Guys. Will this go well? Probably not, no! Now that we're all set up, the actual goal of this challenge is for me to start a brand new Skyrim file, get through the intro and Helgen Keep, go to the capital city of Solitude and complete the Wabajack quest, which gives us the most chaotic item in the game. Now the Wabajack quest itself is not that hard, but getting to that quest in Solitude could be very difficult with this voice mod. So now, let's play some goddamn Skyrim. Well, I'm so excited. Well, I don't it's a know. Good thing That's that a if thing. You, I don't know uh, this... if you ever need food. Just cheese. Cheese. Wheels of cheese, and then you just like put them in your inventory and just munch down and get all your health back. It's a good way to. It's a good. It's a good uh, cheesy. It's a cheese way of getting through the game. This will work. Does it ever feel like your streams drag on? They do not feel like that. Do they spawn in the opening cutscene? Nazim. Spawning Nazims. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. No, it works. I wanted to try it with just the the like normal things first, you know. Having it with these specific words will not stop us. There'll only be a band-aid on the injury. That's band-aid. I was very clear about that. We should say dragon. Wait. Spawning dragon. <laughs> I said dragon. Got him. No. Gotcha. I was so clear. I was very, very explicit. Oh. Maybe the intro is still fine. It seems like we're okay. <laughs> I said drag in. Oh, I'm absorbing a dragon soul. <laughs> well, that was quick. Okay, uh, the intro is absolutely broken. So it's because you knocked him off the track. You knocked him off before he got to the executioner's block. 
Damn. Oh, let's restart it. Well done. Well played. Take two. Actually, spawning cheese could help him at some point. I don't think that's true. Okay, see right there, the program did not hear me say the C word. Does cheese work? Does cheese work? Spawning cheese. It there does it work. Okay, cool. We're good. Look, I'm very articulate, all right? The program, if I say geese, it's not going to think I'm saying cheese. Even if I say geese. Spawning cheese. Damn it. Well, normally it's pretty good, and I'm pretty articulate. The cheese is alive. What I don't think it's alive. What sound does a dog make again? I can't bark. remember. No, not bark the other one. Woof. Spawning wolves. What? Come on! Damn it! There was clearly <laughs> no L there. That is bullshit. That one was bullshit. Fuck that, dude. I said woof. <laughs> it seems like we're actually okay and that the intro has not crashed. <laughs> oh, damn. They're <laughs> all dead. They killed. All of them were immediately run over. Joke's on you. All right? We ran right over those woofs. Hey, thank you, Cheese. It's cool for the sub. Why yes, I avoided it. How did it? How did it not think I said the c word there? But it got woofs. Let's go. Spawning wolves. No! Damn it! I said it's not even close. Maybe this will be fine. Maybe they kill all the the woos and then everything continues. Now, unfortunately, if almost anything spawns during the Skyrim intro sequence, all the characters will stop doing anything permanently. I guess killing the leader of the rebellion, I guess we just can put that on hold forever if some wolves show up, which means that we now have to reset the game again. New game, here we go. I am fine with cheese spawning at the beginning. I don't care, it does not fuck up the game. Spawning cheese. <laughs> hey Doug, what is your- Oh, you're finally awake. You want some cheese? Professional opinion on dealing with trolls while you're streaming? Or I don't like to think of them. Trolls? I don't like using that T word. I just call them buttholes. You guys keep saying the word G I A N T. I feel like you just want to do big, you know? Gigante. They can't n n n stole Christmas. Why are we do you still allow swearing or have you banned it? Spawning bandits. No! Wait, 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 what did I say? He said banned it. Uh... Oh, fucking bandit! No! No, that was really good! Oh, that shit! That was really clever! Okay, maybe the intro will still work, though. Maybe killing these guys doesn't screw it up. No, no, never mind. The, ca the captain's dead. You guys win. <laughs> shit. Damn it. I'm saying that I'm gifting five subs for every soft locker death. To whoever did that one, that was good. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep that up, because I'm dying a lot more than I thought. Gray equals gray beards. Yeah. Spawning beards. What? No, 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 Damn no, no, no! <laughs> oh, that does have the fuck! That was really smart! Wait, was that intentional? Now, at this point, the most common way I'm getting tricked is by someone sneaking a hidden word into their donation messages, right? But I'm getting better and better at identifying them, and so now people are evolving to the next level where they misdirect me by putting in a really suspicious word that I'll definitely see, and then I lower my guard because I think I'm safe for the rest of the message. Let me just recap where we're at for people. The farthest I've gotten is the cart getting to here. Yeah. Basically, Can I the executioner's block. Get through the intro, please. I can cheat by just not really talking, but that just seems lame. Hey man, I've been wanting to support you for a while, and I was wondering what flavors of G Fuel are your favorite. For you for a while, what flavors of G Fuel? Sounds neat. Don't say dragon. Do you have a code there, and that sounds neat. Was that a trick? What's wrong? This is the problem. Is that hey, some that guy, guy your stream, might come? Hope you're doing good. That one is. Are you real? Okay. Don't hurt me. I'm fragile. Are you real? Are you a real person? Are you actually complimenting me? I don't trust you, and I don't believe you. Something about that was suspicious. I don't know. Like, this is gonna turn off a lot of new viewers if they're like, Oh, let's go check out Doug's channel. I love his YouTube. Wonder what he's like on Twitch. You're like, Oh, hey, Doug, I really love your content. And I squint at the screen and I go, Really? Because I think you're trying to trick me. Okay, I, I really, I really, really, really just want to get to this character thing. Please, because then we, we at least, like, are in a different spot. Okay, literally just, like, 20 more seconds. <clears throat> have you ever taken a cab before? I have not. I have. I have, in fact. But I prefer Uber. I like Frank. Spawning beers. No! What did I say? What did Uber. Uber. <laughs> Uber. Burr. Sounded like bear. God. What did I say? That's Uber? Bear. Fuck! Dude. No! Spawning bear. No! Oh my god, it's a I had it. Shit! Was that intentional? Was that your goal? Maybe I can still get through. Maybe it's fine. 
No, it's not fine. Dude, the way you yeah. guys keep getting me, you donate something that makes me think you're trying to trick me in one way. And he said, do you take a cab? And I was like, oh, he's trying to get me to say crab. So then I fucking Spawning was like, crab. <laughs> so then I was like, oh, I got you and said, ooh, bear. Fuck. Jesus. Okay. I just want to get to the goddamn character creation screen. Oh my god, please, please, let me make a character without some dumb shit spawning. Except, yes, we have autosave 30 seconds into the game. And finally, after a brisk hour and a half, I'd finally created my character in Skyrim. And once Alduin shows up, it's a quick run over to Helgen Keep with Rayloft to start making our escape. And the good news, is that I'm finally getting better at seeing through their tricks. Does cheese still work? Uh-oh. Spawning cheese. Yeah, yes. Genuinely, Genuinely happy you got happy to finally get past, get past the cutscene. Cut scene. Best of Best luck, and I'm so luck. excited, I'm to, excited see where to see where this goes. There's no way that's real. Why won't it attack? Why won't it attack? I am pressing the mouse. Hello? Game? Uh, why is... Uh, controls? Spawning trolls. No! Damn it! <laughs> oh, hell. I deserve that one. I've been so careful. I've been so fucking careful. <laughs> Can I get some Fs in chat? My pet bearded dragon died today. I'm sorry All that right, your pet died it. today. Something <laughs> leads me to believe that you did not conveniently have a bearded Degon that died today, but... Spawning dragon. Spawning beards. <laughs> Hold on, I can live though. I can live now. I can maybe live through this. Here we go. Three, two, one. I got cheese earlier, so I can eat cheese. Do I still have the cleaning utensils or is the rag gone? Dude, I was completely trapped. So what did he say that spawned the bears that time? I don't... Though I can live now. I can... Spawning bear. You did not conveniently have a bearded Degon that died through that beard. Bearded, yeah. Dang it. So the spawning bears. Whoa. No! Okay, but spawning bears. What? No, 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 no! Hold on, I can live though. I can live now. I can maybe live through this. Here we go. Three. And sadly, cleaning no. utensil. Try to get banded iron armor. Very good early game here. Banded iron armor. That's very good. Thank you for the five dollars. Hey, that would Twitch play Scrabble be possible? Would Twitch play Scrabble be possible? Spawning mud crabs. Oh damn God, damn it! That was good. Damn it. I think I can live though. Okay, now I gotta jump over those crabs, get to the barrel, get more potions. Spawning uh, my crabs. No! I should have said it. I got more. Uh, Rayloff? Rayloff, there's 20 crabs in there. It might be on you, bud. Dude, once you got the crabs in, it just. Ever Wait. Spawning okay. my crabs. No, no man. Man. Once you. Fuck! Okay, I'm just. I'm bailing, I'm bailing, I'm bailing. I fuck them. Bail, bail. Once you bail. got them in, my guard Holy is just Christian like way reduced because now I'm just panicking. And to the curiosity, could, could you spell damage. cheese as quickly and precisely -E as possible? Handed. Could you spell C H E E S E? Spawning cheese. What? The cheese got him? Okay. <laughs> I, uh, oh my gosh. Spawning cheese. What? It's. Yeah. There were some weird physics where you'd like run over a skull okay, or something and it would like shoot off and damage you. Like, yeah. The way something like cheese works is that it's spawning spawn, cheese. Is that it tries to spawn the cheese away from me, but if it can't, because of where spawning I'm cheese. standing, it will just spawn it in me, and then that kills me. And then I happen to be standing like against the wall there. It's like the scene from <clears throat> Alien, and the cheese ripped out of my stomach. Also, hopefully I don't die right now, because I've said it a bunch of times. Spawning cheese. <gasps> okay. Okay, we're alive. Damn. Spawning cheese. Cheese. <laughs> I said jeez. Is Ed Spawning still a mod? Cheese. Have you banned Ed? Is Eddie still a mod? Have you banned Ed? Gotcha. Banned Ed? Spawning bandits. Oh, fuck, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> that is such a stretch, dude. Fuck it. Fuck it. They're not oh, even bandits. They're like... I'll take out one of them. I want the dual weapon. They're like the, 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 the tavern winches shooting Holy lightning crap, there's bolts. there's a giant spider. Spider doesn't connect. That, that, we... Spawning okay. giants. No! You got me. That was gotcha. good. That was good. Okay. Okay. We're fine. As long as I just kind of get out of here. Hey, do you ever gamble? 
I love to play crafts. How about you? I love crafts. Spawning cheese. <laughs> Jeez. Spawning oh. cheese. <laughs> That gag doesn't give up easy. I need a code word for the hey, D word. Just besides started saying to D ask word, because that sounds stupid. Hades, yet it's made by Super it Giant, the devs of made, It is made by, by the also same devs as my Transistor. Boy, the yes. Raggin Jasmine. The Raggin Jasmine? No! Spawning dragons. No! <laughs> oh! I said Raggin! Oh, come on! That's not fair. Okay, I might actually be They're okay, ragging. though, because I think the dragons might fly out of. <laughs> Might oh fly God. out of Helgen Keep, and then I, and then I, no. or I'll fly out of Helgen Keep. Are you I like the music. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah, no, this, <laughs> this, this is. This is. This is. Well, so I remember the Skyrim intro. Maybe the D R O G D A D R A G O Ns will attack everybody else too. Are you going to use a baby stroller? Are you going to use a baby stroller? Can't imagine. Spawning trolls. No. Baby stroller! God fuck! Okay, we're fine! Spawning trolls. The dragons are like popping me around the screen! Okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. This is fine. Spawning dragons. No! I that was so dumb! It's assuming the game doesn't crash. I don't think it's crashing. Okay, well. Can the cheese beat to go for them? Okay, we're back here. This is fine. Oh, I can get my health potion. Did they knock it back here? Where is it? All right, whatever. <laughs> this is not safe. We're bailing. <laughs> At least the Degons are fighting the T-Rolls. There is literally a troll blocking the path, and he's just standing Always said here. Always said it. Oh, trolls. Dragons. Spawning trolls. Oh, no! You Spawning said dragons. it. <laughs> Damn it. Um, we're okay. good. All right. Oh, and I'm getting through. I'm getting through. Let me through. Let me in. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, oh this my is God. Big. I'm having an I'm I'm having an epileptic seizure looking at all this on the screen, dude. Damn it! This is overwhelming. Spawning bandits. No! I said damn it! Spawning bandits. But eventually, eventually, I had a run where I dodged all of Twitch chat's little tricks. I played fast and furious through the entire dungeon, <laughs> except that part where I summoned 20 trolls, Actual and then I finally made it to the end of Helgen Keep. Yeah! It has taken two and a half hours, but we got through the beginning of the game. Now, again, the goal is to complete the Wabajack quest. So now I have to go to Whiterun to buy a carriage to Solitude. But let's be honest, I'm kind of an expert at this challenge now. So I decided to add two new words into the mix. Falmer will spawn no. ten of the Falmer enemy, and Rat will spawn ten of the Skeever rats. And now I put on some smooth jazz for walking music, and I headed to Whiterun. Best part of the stream, to be honest. And we play the hold music? Easily the best part of my stream. Spawning Skeever. Wait, what? I said stream. Oh my god. Do you know why it spawned? Look at look at it. Look at it. It thought I said desperation, and that Spawning has ski bear. and that has rat in it. I'm so fucked. Oh, this one's bad. Oh, oh man, duck, duck, you go exactly. to the heat gym. You, you have those seeker abs. You have those seeker abs. Seeker abs was seek. <laughs> Going was on stroll through dumb. Skyrim. Going on a stroll through Skyrim. Spawning trolls. No! That was good! That was gotcha. fucking good! And now that I've actually gotten to Whiterun, I still need some money for the carriage, but this is easy, since you can just farm cabbages outside of the city and then sell the cabbages Cabbage. in the city for money. Hey, Doug, you bandit, have you ever been to Bratislava? Been to... Bratislava? No! Spawning ski bear. Fuck! Oh, man, I, I realized too late. Fortunately, the rats are pretty easy to take care of. Unfortunately, rats are pretty easy to make. How should we call this? There's a lot Operation of this. vocabulary. Operation censorship. Operation, Operation. showing. Spawning ski bear. What? Oh, opera. Spawning ski bear. No! I went and sold my cabbages, then I bought a ride to Solitude, and I found the crazy guy, and then ran up into the castle to start the Wabajack quest. I love listening to the music you have on stream. Do you, you have, have a playlist, a playlist somewhere. somewhere? Yes, type it's hard to find music. good music now with Dr. Dre gone from making music. <laughs> now, once you're actually in the Wabajack quest, it's fairly easy since Shagarath's dialogue will distract you from all the viewers trying to distract you. Just run to the three different areas, shoot everything for a bit, and then you will finally, finally have 
the Wabajack. We're good? We're good. Spawning Ski Bear. No! What did I say? Now, you might have noticed how quickly I just beat the second half of this challenge. And that's because now, after four and a half hours of this brutal training, I had full control of my voice. I now spoke with clarity and confidence. I dodged every single trap word, and I ascended into a true dragonborn. A master of the voice. It took four hours, but we've got the goddamn Level Wabajack. Level alteration and start using armor spell as your too squishy. Level alteration, start using armor spells, you're too squishy. Spotting ski bear. <laughs> what? Oh, alteration. God damn it. And to celebrate this successful challenge, I decided to throw a party in the Blue Palace and invite all of my friends. Alteration. Spotting ski alteration. bear. Alteration. Spotting alteration. Ski bear. Alteration. Oh my god. Dragon. Dragon. Dragons. Spawning He's gonna dragons. crash the right. game. This video is starting to drag on, so let's call it there. Thank you for watching, everybody. Oh my god. Also, according to YouTube, only a small percentage of the spawning cheese videos are actually subscribed. Spawning ski bear. <laughs> spawning ski bear. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> Holy cow. I say, if we ever did modded Skyrim with you, Micah, I would never do that to you. I, w I would not enjoy if that. You, and I guarantee if I ever did do that to you, you'd probably, like, never seen, you'd never come over again. I, that just, I would not enjoy that. That does not look fun. <laughs> I, yeah. Oh, gosh. So, anyway, that was Skyrim. But if I say dragon, then ten dragons spawn on top of other things. Bears, trolls, friggin' rats, bandits, Nazims. Oh, hell, Nazim. So yeah, it's a hell of a a hell of a game, Skyrim. The fact that even all these years later, people are still modding the hell out of it and finding new ways to have fun with it. But at the same time, Todd Howard. I know you're busy working on that Indiana Jones game. As soon as you are done with that, you need, repeat, you need to get back to work on Elder Scrolls Six, Please. It's been 11 years, man. Think about that. 11 years. You know, there were people, yeah. like, still trying to defend Bethesda. Just be like, oh, well, I mean, we've had, like, other Fallout... We've had other Fallout games and other stuff in between, and I'm just like, really? So... Fallout 76, how good was it? Yeah, how good was how good was uh, uh, all the other bullshit that went on between uh, now and Fallout 4? It basically is nothing but a cycle of disappointment. I mean, Elder Scrolls Online, which, you know, no one could play for the first six months because it was a buggy piece of crap. Actually, I take that back. First 18 months. Almost a year and a half. Ugh. And now I I don't know what like how far they are into development of Elder Scrolls Six, but I'm hoping that with the new Creation Engine, Creation Engine Two, that they'll finally do something worthwhile. I don't know though. I guess we'll have to see. Anywho, we're gonna have to end it here, everyone. This was uh, Skyrim, but if I say dragon, then ten dragons spawn. You know, see the original video link as always is in the description. And I guess until next time, everyone. I'm Nate. Michael. See you later, everybody. Peace.